welcome back to another episode of Duke's Outfitters. Um, other than the bullfrog video, I haven't really introduced slingshots to the channel and it's something that I have been doing a lot of lately. I've made like <laughs> probably 50 slingshots in the past couple of months and just really figured them out and uh, learned how to shoot with them and ended up making some really nice ones. Um, here is one I like to call the OG. Um, which has these nice finger grooves right here so you can hold it and then I have another one Here's one of my earlier ones um, Before I got like the grooves cut super super fine um, With the table saw here. I did it by hand with a Dremel, but here's another one I made um, Just kind of to give you an idea of what I'm making, but that's really not what today's video is about. Actually, one more thing. If you want to buy one, find me on Instagram or Facebook, send me a message, and I'd be happy to make you one. Um, I can make them in all kinds of different like materials and colors and, and all kinds of stuff. So, yeah. Anyways, what we're really here for, if, if I keep knocking stuff off, we're never going to get it talked about, um, is how to tie the bands on the slingshot. Um, I've been selling a lot of these and having to explain it to people and instead of just like, continuously doing that. I'm just going to make this video so you guys can learn from here. So, okay, I'm going to move the camera. Ba -ba -da -ba. Perfect. Okay, so the things you're going to need, you're going to need flat rubber. Oh, come on now. Why are we out of focus? I think that's in focus. I'm just gonna have to hold it back here. But you're gonna need flat rubber tape. Um, I'll link all this stuff on Amazon so you don't have to get like a super good look at it and like remember, but you're gonna need flat rubber tape. You're gonna need bands. Um, I get these from Amazon. Link's gonna be in the bio or in the description. Um, you're gonna need tweezers is my preferred item. Um, a pen, a ruler, and of course, your OG slingshot <laughs> or any slingshot um, that takes flat bands. So the first thing you do, and I've already done it as you guys can see, is measure in and mark a mark on both bands that is at an equal distance from the end here. Um, there's a way to calculate like your draw length or whatever. Um, I don't actually know how to do that. <laughs> Uh, I just do about one inch. One, an inch to an inch and a quarter um, seems to be good. I'm not super duper picky. So mark your bands so you tie them on evenly. And then you want to get your flat string. It's better to just overdo it with the flat string than to not have enough because it's really hard to work with. So like eight inches is a really good length. Let's see. Ooh. I guess you're going to need something to cut these... Uh, Cut this rubber string with too, but um, anyways, let's see. So, get your slingshot. You want to make sure. Disclaimer: If it's oh, I have a soda in the freezer. Hold on, Alexa, stop the timer. My soda was hot, and uh, I was trying to cool it down. If you guys haven't tried the mango Pepsi, it's awesome. Anyways, um, what was I saying? Disclaimer. Oh yeah, this is how I like to do it. If there's a better way or another way, just leave it down in the comments. I'd love to learn about it, but um, I don't know everything. Uh, this is just how I do it. So now, if you look at these bands, you can see that they're kind of cupped. There's one side that's cupped, like see my fingers in there, and then there's one side that's kind of like humped. They have to fold the band to tie it on there. I like the side that's cupped um, being on the top. Uh, it's just a personal preference with like the way it feels in my hand. Um, so get your band, line the line that we've drawn up with the little groove on the slingshot. And then I like to use my thumb right there and just hold it. So get your flat rubber string and I like to put, make sure you put enough to go all the way across the slingshot. You'll see why here in just a second, but you don't want to have like just a little short piece right under the edge of your thumb or it's just going to slip out. Um, so get the band, the string. Now this stuff is stretchy. See, it's pretty stretchy. You want to stretch it tight 
Make sure you're getting in the grooves, stretch it tight, and then lay it over that uh, little strand you were just holding with your thumb. Okay, and then I like to use my pointer finger right there to hold it tight so I can get a new grip on the band. Okay, so I just went around there two times. Um, two times is all you need. The next step is to get your little tag end here and fold it over. One, two times. And then here is where the tweezers come in handy. I just get tweezers, toothpick, a uh, paper clip that's halfway opened up. Works really well because you can use it as like a, a little loop to like pull the band through. But this will do just fine. Just fine. <laughs> There's no D in that word, Justin. So do just fine. Um, so just get it, whatever it is, lay it across and hold it there. We're gonna go around two more times. So one, hold it with your pointer finger. Two, hold it with your pointer finger. And then come back around. And then I just use the palm of my hand to lift up, see? and just loop that uh, string underneath there. So what you're doing is you're making a loop that you're going to pull underneath. Boop, boop. Bam. You're gonna pull underneath those last two wraps that you did right there and make a loop. There you go, you can see it against my bright yellow shirt. So another useful thing for the tweezers, you can go through the loop to tie your knot, oh, go through the loop. I'm trying to do it and show you guys at the same time. Grab your tag end, or not. Through the loop, grab your tag end. It's easier when you're not trying to record. And then tie your knot. Just pull it, oh. Make sure you don't tie your knot around the edge of the latex band like I did. <laughs> okay, well. That's something to look out for. You can see, if you look really carefully, I tied it around the edge, like the corner, like this corner over here of the latex band. It's not going to really hurt anything, but um, typically I'm a bit of a perfectionist and I would want to fix that, but I've got a video to make and it literally doesn't hurt anything. Okay, so the other one, I'm going to show you this other one and it's going to be somewhat more repetitive except for I'm going to fold it more than one time. So I would fold it back this way and then fold it that way. And what I'm doing, the reason I'm doing that is that is the hole that I can see through. Like at the top, whenever I'm shooting, I can look through this hole. And if you shoot kind of tilted, you can use this hole to reference like your target if you're like aiming at something really far. It's kind of like a reference through the frame to kind of gauge how you're doing. So I'm gonna tie it up a little bit different here to pull that band up and like open up that hole so I can see through it. Okay. I'm gonna go a little faster through this one because you guys get the concept. Da, 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 da. So plenty of string, cut it. Okay. And the second one is also a little harder because you've got the first band already tied here. Um, this kind of gets in the way. All right, ba -ba I'm gonna go around once, go around twice. Don't forget to show it to the camera. Okay, so see, I'm going to fold this up pretty far. So one, two, three, four. So see, I did that differently down there. It's a little neater. You don't have this big squishy thing. It's kind of uptight. And that's going to keep that, uh, like I said, it's going to keep that window on that pin open for distance shooting. 
go around two more times. It's always in twos. Two times full, two times full, two times, tie the knot. Dun -dun -dun. So loop underneath, slide it through, pew. Give myself some space. Use the tweezers, grab the tail through, and then here, pull it tight and pull it around the edge. And when you cut this, make sure that you don't like pull it super, super tight and then cut close and let go because that band stretches when you do that. And you need a little bit of it because it kind of like stretches and moves under that loop there. So just cut it with a little bit left there. And yeah, that's it. That's how you do it. Wapow. You can see, you can see the difference in the opening between this hole and this bottom hole. Got much more visibility through there. So that's the purpose of folding it the extra time. Um, so if you don't have these holes on your slingshot, obviously this one's going to do just fine. It's more than enough. But if you bought one from me and you've got this, that's how you do it. So yeah, I guess I'm gonna go shoot it a few times and uh, get a couple shots on camera for y'all. And then yeah, thanks so much for watching. Thanks so much if you bought one of these. Um, again, if you do want one, um, message me on Instagram is probably the best place or you can find me on Facebook. Um, all my links will be in the description for that as well. And or I'm going to also put my link for Etsy. Sometimes there's some up there. Sometimes I can only make like two a week. And that's if I'm like really kind of trying hard. So let me know. Why am I having you guys look at my hands? Awesome. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Oh my gosh, my camera is crazy. Um, my camera is about to fall off the counter. <laughs> um, thanks so much for watching. And yeah, I'll catch you guys next time on another episode of Duke's Outfitters. Oh yeah, and try the mango Pepsi. It's so good.
Thanks for watching, folks. See you next time.